Okay, so we saw that in the last section, we knew how to uh, import and export the camera from After Effects into Cinema 4D and the other way around from Cinema 4D to After Effects. So in this section, I'm going to be talking to you how to prepare some of the assets inside Cinema 4D. So the, the actual export to uh, uh, After Effects is going to be a seamless or as seamless as possible. We're going to encounter some problems and I'm going to try to show you the problem that we're going to get in this particular example. So the first thing that we uh, have to do is open the scene and let's get familiar with this uh, project for just a second. So as you can see here in the uh, objects uh, menu or in the objects uh, window, we have uh, a, a null object and my camera. Inside that main uh, uh, null object, we have three other null objects which uh, contain the objects that I already set up. And uh, I use the compositing, the external compositing tag in here and the compositing tag over here. So we're going to export this. Uh, but before we do that, uh, I want to point out to you that in the I, in the object number one, it says screen one with an X in front of it. What it means is that I marked that one because that particular object has a problem that we're going to look at it, and that's part of the preparation of the element. So if we get closer to, to the uh, actual object, we can see that the center of that uh, object is right off a little bit to the right side, as you can see here where I'm pointing. So that is going to create a problem when we export our uh, external compositing tag. So we have to make sure that it is perfectly aligned to the object that we are uh, exporting. So the actual uh, position of that node when it appears in uh, After Effects is going to be perfectly uh, centered in the right position. Now, the other ones that I have also here, they have been fixed perfectly all right. I will show you how to fix that if you need to do that. Uh, but uh, at this moment, I'm going to leave it just like that so we can see that problem in After Effects. Now, the other thing that uh, I want to point out also is that if we go to the edit and we look at the project settings of this project, we can see that our frames per second is 24. Now, we're working on After Effects on 23,976 frames per second. So if I type in here 23,976 and I press enter, it doesn't give me the fractional number. It gives me just 23. So I'm going to have to stick with 24 at this moment. And that is the basic problem of the sample that I'm going to show you. So another uh, thing that we're going to look at before we export from Cinema 4D is the render settings. In the render settings, uh, we have the output tab in here that you have some custom settings already set up. In here, we can see that uh, the, the actual application is going to give us some options that uh, they seem to be very helpful, especially if you're working on film and video. Uh, you can go, let's say, uh, we're going to be doing HDTV 1080, but I, I can see that it's only 24. They don't have 23,976. So it, it doesn't really matter if you select DVC Pro HD 23,976. All the parameters in here seem to change, especially the frame rate in here. You can see that it says 23,976. That is a misleading number because when we export this project to After Effects, it comes into After Effects as 24. And we're going to see that in a moment. And that creates a huge problem inside After Effects if you're actually working on 23976. So let's do that right now. And now we have this project inside After Effects, the compositing tags exported as we expected. And uh, if you remember that uh, I actually colorized those uh, compositing tags so we can recognize them visually here, as well as with the name and number. And we can see that the screen one X, the problematic one, 
is also shown here in my project uh, window where the assets are. 